Monday. Yeah. Hey, happy Monday. Happy Halloween. Hey. <laughs> we are off to work and school and Keegan to daycare. And then we are going to go trick or treating. I don't have anything made for dinner. My plan was to get something in the crock pot, but I didn't do that. So, um, it's almost 7 o'clock. We got to head out the door. I don't know exactly what we are going to have for dinner. This should be interesting. Hi, Leon! Hi! 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 Is he asleep? <laughs> yeah, he's passed out. Aww. Hi, buddy. Aww. Hello. I'm good. How are you? Hello. Look at all of Nate's candy that he got. Yeah. All of it. I got a lot this time. Blah, blah. So we did what we did last year. We took Nate over to Paul's dad's house and just walked around his little neighborhood. And, um, um, we were so radical that we got that much candy. Lots of candy. And um, it was really cold. We were gonna initially we were gonna take the we took the stroller. We were going to walk with Keegan and walk around, but it was so super cold that just um, Nate and I got out of the truck, and Paul and Keegan stayed in the truck, and he got all this candy. What, remember what? Tell him what the candy tax is. What's the candy tax? Wait, what are you talking? About? Mommy gets ninety-five percent of your candy. So you get. 95% is almost all of it. Wait, I have no idea. 95% is almost all of it. How do you feel about wait, that? Wait, wait. Is this? Let's see what it is. It's fruit snacks, I think. Sour well watermelon sharks. You don't like that either. That's so real. No, we're not having candy right now. It's bedtime. It's way past your bedtime. You wait, fell asleep I, I in the... I need to see myself. So I forgot to take my camera, um, and in all honesty, I didn't realize that until I just walked in. Um, but it was just so cold that I didn't really take any video. Um, and I didn't have the camera even if I wanted to. Um, so I didn't get Nate in his, um, costume, but I will insert a picture now. So that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. I'm going to, um, get Keegan's bottles ready for tomorrow. Um, soy formula seems to be working really great. He's spitting up a little bit more than he does. <sighs> Just the breast milk. Whew. But still not awful. Um, as you guys will have saw, um, I did take video at Keegan's parade, which he slept through. So he was miserable when we picked him up. I don't know what the deal was. Um, he wouldn't really take a bottle. He was fussy. I don't know. So, maybe he missed me. 
So that is it for this Halloween. I hate that it fell on a Monday. It really sucks, but we can do. So have a good night. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, November 1st. I'm here with Kiki Wiggy Wiggies. Oh, I miss him so much during the day. I do, I do. We had a rough morning, very rough morning. Nate was grumpy because last night was Halloween, obviously. He didn't get um, in until late and he, um, so he didn't get as much sleep as he normally does. Normally he goes down at like 7.30. He didn't go down to almost 9 last night. It made rough for everybody, huh? Mwah, rough for everybody. So, um, he was grumpy, and it, I just, it was cold here, and I hated taking Keegan out, and it was just a sucky morning. Work went okay. Huh. What are you looking for, huh? What are you looking for, huh? Um, I just got done feeding you. You don't feel be hungry. Um, <laughs> we are just gonna, I have to get laundry done tonight. Our, um... I want to stay up on that because I got most of it done this weekend. I still have yet to load Keegan's dresser. Maybe someday. Paul went to Home Depot after work and got a gutter for the front of the house. It had um, been... The one that was on there had been damaged a couple years ago. And it's been without one this whole entire time over the steps. Which is a nightmare when you're walking out. My neck hurts. So, um, that is where we're at today. Um, we're just going to have some dinner, and I don't even care, the house is a mess. Laundry's about it. That's all I'm doing, laundry and dishes tonight, and that's it. Maybe vacuum the floor, because it really needs it. But, i got to get some videos edited at some point. I'll probably wait till the weekend. In the meantime, it's just going to be me and Kiki, so, huh? Well, Daddy and Nate make dinner. Huh. Look at, say hi, Grandpas. Say hi, other peoples. He's wanting a pacifier, I think. Daddy, can we have a pacifier? Uh, hold on, hold on. Time out, Nate. Time out, time out. Time out. Say, I need pacifier, Dad. I'm just needing something. I don't know. There were three sent to school with him this morning. She gave me one, so hopefully you have the rest. No, I don't. You're not the bag? Here, get, put, it, put it on him. Or in him, I mean. Put it on him. La, 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 la. That's what him wants, says, huh? Mommy, grab my I got some tinies. So. There's one. Yep, the other one. Oh my goodness. What did they do with your passies? Um, because there was one already in the car seat and I didn't realize that and he had another one. But Nate had a good day at school, oh, right, you, Nate? You have the other one? No. Oh. Both were in his car seat. And I put them up in his cubby. I put well, them in you. Alright, yeah. well, I just set them on the edge of the car. I don't know. Don't Whatever. Talk to me. Whatever. Don't talk to me. I'm just a ghost that can talk. Ha! Ah, what a nuts. That's nice. Yeah, I... Alright, hold on just a second. Hold on a second. Um, Tomorrow we have a half day because Nate has a half day of school, so I've actually been working a little late to try to make up the stuff I miss, gonna miss tomorrow by leaving at noon. It's crazy there, like I'm trying to step back into everything and, you know, people don't do things exactly as I do them and so and there wasn't, like, the manpower to do some of the stuff that um, is required to keep things organized so I can stay on top of everything, so I'm just kind of trying to get that all set up and there's stuff that wasn't done at all and so it's crazy, it's crazy. Oh, meanwhile, we are trying to um, do interviews for the new director. I missed one while I was out, and um, there's one tomorrow night, which I'm going to miss, because I was hoping it'd be a little later, but it's at 3 o'clock, and Paul still won't be home yet. I was hoping I could go back over to work, but not going to be able to. And then there's two next week, I think. It's really kind of nice that we get to interview our director and we give all that feedback to, um, um, like the CEO, the, you know, the people that are hiring him because, um, you know, we obviously have to work with him. So it's nice that they take into consideration, consideration our feedback. So yes, yes, they do. I, uh, talked with them today. There was a position posted. I may have mentioned it. 
Um, it was a part-time position. It was evenings. It just said part-time evenings. Um, as a coordinator for um, the, I forget what the t title is. Basically, it's somebody that helps um, when patients are admitted to um, organize the, like the, um, like basically where they're going uh, in the hospital and that, that whole entire process to like basically admit them. And I talk with the girl that is the manager of that area is, um, I got an itch, somebody I've worked pretty closely with in the past. And so I sent her an email. She wrote back, she's like, yes, I'll call you about it and tell you all about it. And she was um, overly whatever that I, you know, was asking about it. But it's really not hour-wise something that was working would work. I was hoping with it saying evenings that it would be um, like, you know, 8 or 9 o'clock at night until like whatever. But it's not. It's 3 to 11.30. It's, um, it's written for 16 hours a week, but she said there would be plenty of opportunity for more hours. Um, from the sound of it, like, the pay wouldn't have been bad. Probably something comparable to where I am now. Maybe even more, I don't know. But, um, I can't, um, 3 o'clock would be, Paul would not be able to work, which means that still cause an issue with getting Nate off the bus. And after school care was way more than before school care. And second of all, I'd be working. It's only, a, you know, a couple nights or whatever a week, but in some weekends. But the nights I wouldn't be able to see Nate at all, so, um... I don't see that as a huge benefit. Um, if I'm going to leave the job I'm in, which, like I said, I love, the only issue right now is the fact that I really want to be home with the kids. Um, it has to be something that's, like, perfect. The hours are, like, have to, have to be the perfect thing. I don't necessarily care about what I do because I'll be working just part-time, but it has to be something perfect. So, um, you know, I uh, kind of left it with her. She's like, if you apply, you know, contact this person. Um, and tell them that you've applied so we can get you right in for an interview and I just don't think it's I mean maybe I could talk with her but I don't know maybe there's a possibility of adjusting the hours but I don't know but then she also said you'd be training almost full time for two months and if I work full time might as well work full time um, read it what happened? my teacher didn't read your note well where is it and I'll read it to you so, I'm sorry, buddy. Did you check in your lunch pal? Every morning I write Nate a note. I didn't even see you look in your lunch pal. Did you put your lunch pal away? Yeah, and I looked it. Okay. Well, that's it for now. We're going to have dinner. Katie's falling asleep. God, I missed this boy. He, after um, I come home... And he's laying down like this. He'll close his eyes for a few minutes, open him up, kind of look to make sure it's still me holding him. Oh, it's so sweet. So, that's that. I don't know. I just, you know, I was talking with one of my coworkers that's kind of in the same boat as I am. She really wants to work from home. Um, and she's thinking about going back to school. She already got a master's, but she's thinking about going back for something else. And um, we were just kind of talking. She just She feels like she's being pulled in a different direction, and I totally get that. I told her I'm just kind of le letting go and seeing what happens and go from there. So, ah, all right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Tim. He loves him, he loves him, he wants him home. He likes you. These are Nate's pumpkins that he designed for him and Keegan. Oh yeah, this is Halloween day. Well, Halloween was yesterday, turkey. Oh, it's not, it's today. Super Sometimes cool. Sometimes we have two uh, pumpkins in a year. Here's a turkey. Oh, oh. Those are it. Yeah, that's a snowman for Christmas, buddy. Those uh, look cool. 
<coughs> I like them. Wait, can I say something? To sure. You? What do I say? Pretty. Aww. Aww, you're so sweet. And Daddy, who are watching this, you look awesome. <laughs> what about Grandpa's? And Grandma's and Grandpa's, you look pretty awesome. And Uncle's and Aunt. Okay. All right, that's it. I think that's the end of Halloween. Time to move on to Thanksgiving, huh? Yeah. Hey, everybody. It is Wednesday. It is probably around 2 or so in the afternoon. Uh, we've been home for a couple hours. Nate's home. He's sleeping. Keegan's sleeping. Um, house is a disaster. I didn't do anything last night. Um, after, <clears throat> I did some laundry. After, um, that, we had gone upstairs for something. I can't remember, if Keegan spit up or something. And I kind of laid down on the bed for a minute, and that was it. I couldn't move. Um, I put Nate to bed. That was it. I didn't do anything. I didn't, because he had a half day today, I didn't worry about making his lunch or anything. Turns out I was wrong in that aspect. Um... Even though he got out at noon, they went to lunch. They went to lunch at 10.30. The school called me because I have a thing out of his account so we can't charge lunch because we'd gotten a bill home. He had charged breakfast once, um, and we talked about it. He thought he didn't have to pay for it. Um, he kind of thought it was like a free thing, so you know, I had to explain to him they had to pay for it because he eats here at the house. He's like Paul. He'd eat 24-7 if you'd let him. I may have already told you guys this. But um, I got a bill like for five or six days or something, and it was after the fact, because that was right around the beginning of school. And um, they have to be dropped off at a different place. I just know Nate wasn't doing it, and they don't have like a secure method of who's who they're getting charged, or who's getting charged. So I had them put a block on the account that said no more charges to the account. So they called me at work today, and they're like, he's standing in the lunch line. And he doesn't have any money and he doesn't have a lunch. And I said, well, with him getting out noon, I didn't think he'd need a lunch. And she goes, well, do you just want me to have him eat when he gets home? I said, no. I said, if everyone else is eating, you know, let him charge the lunch and I'll send money with him tomorrow. I'm so irritated. I'm actually going to um, try to email the principal because, like, nothing is communicated. And I don't think it's such a far-off thing that when your kid gets out of school at noon... You think they will not have lunch. They sure as hell will not have lunch at 10.30 in the morning, which is when she was calling me and he was standing in line. It was just, it's stupid. It's just stupid. So, um, whatever. But I got out of work. I got, like, nothing accomplished at work today. I always start out with, like, a to-do list um, so that I don't forget anything because my job is so many, like, little things that if I don't write it down, especially if somebody walks up, oh, by the way, I need, if I don't have some way of remembering that I am um, I can forget it so I just I, I feel like my phone is ringing off the hook today and I just think a lot accomplished and it was a short day I knew I wouldn't anyway mm. <sighs> goodness I'm tired but that is that I don't know what I'm gonna do I might try to get something done in the house I don't know I don't know all right I will talk to y'all later bye Little Nady sleeping. He said our plan was to watch movies and snuggle. And this is what I get. A zonked out little boy. And he came over to me like five minutes before I saw the spell sleep and said, Mommy, we were supposed to snuggle. I said, I forgot. And you go, Little sweet boy. He was crying when I picked him up from daycare. Then he saw me and stopped. It made me feel so good. He's definitely getting... I don't know if you can tell. His face is a lot chubbier than it was. I definitely noticed him packing on some weight, so that's good. So, um, hey guys, the black pop, the black dot in your eye is called your pupil, and when it stay out, it is small, and it stop out, it's big. And the thing around your eye is to control the thing from the phone getting
and I can control how much I'm getting in it. And, and so also, what's the colored part called? And the color part of your eye, whichever color part of your eye, you still have a black, you hold in. The color of your eye is called an uh, iris. Wait, but what did you call it? An uh, iris. I rest. <laughs> That's adorable. And it's called the pucal? Uh, the pucal. You are so cute. So, so cute. And Nate, where does mommy work? At the Oh my God, Hostable. Hostable. I love it. Aww. I love the cuteness of you. Hi! Hi! Oh, hi! Daddy's hi. working on the gutter. Hi! Getting the gutter up on our front porch. He's chilling in the stroller. Hi! Get out. He's smiling like going bananas. Get up all over the tongues. Oh, watch out, Nate. Bye bye, so steak. Why don't you go fall off the steps, you turkey? Tell him to turkey, huh? Hey, you're a turkey, Nate. Down there, but don't want to help you push, man. Tell you to push, you push, okay? Don't push too hard, okay? No, 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 no. Walk down there. Now wait, you gotta wait, okay? I gotta put it down. Can you, can you, oh my. Wait a minute, okay, buddy? Don't push it, okay? I gotta what? Get what was that? What? 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 Yeah. Corky came out to join the fun. Hi, huh, buddy. Corky. Hey, you out to join the fun? Kiki's way down there. I think Nate and I are going to take him for a walk. Hello. It is um, Thursday. It's uh, 10 o'clock at night. Um, I feel like there's nothing to record lately. It's so boring. I come home. This is a bad week. Um, working the extra hour. I already feel like cramped for time at night. And working the extra hour um, to kind of make up for the other day and get some stuff done, which I feel like I'm in a rat race anyway. Um, there's just so much, so much to do. And uh, I'm trying. <sighs> There's just so much to do, and I feel like I'm trying to kind of slowly get back into where I was. Um, there's just so many facets of my job, and it just makes it difficult sometimes. I actually went to, I was telling you guys a little bit about the interview for the new director, and I went to the first interview I was able to go to. There was one, of course, Wednesday when I had to leave early, and then there was one before I'd gotten back. So this was the first one I was able to go to, and then there's one next week. Um, this one from today hopefully will be the person that they hire. Um, he seems to be the best fit. And I was just kind of explaining to him that, um, things kind of get dumped in our department, in my, my position specifically I was speaking of, um, and what it does is it takes away from the job I'm actually supposed to be doing. So, um, a perfect example of that is I run orientation for the hospital. Um, and really that's an HR function at anywhere else and they've just kind of dumped it on us and it started with me just facilitating it to me um, completely doing so many things in regards to it um, it's just it's such a huge project and undertaking it's once a month it used to be twice a month um, and it's just it's sucking up all of my time and I can't get done what I need to do there's so much work, so much preparation, 
it's just crazy so it was kind of a bad day it was a rough morning um Nate was super super grumpy this morning it's because he did not get to bed early last night like he was kept coming downstairs and whatever so he was grumpy this morning I kind of expected it and then I was running late anyway because I breastfed Kagan to start out with and he wasn't he's like now that he's getting a bottle he is being so lazy with that that like I decided it's a huge and I know I've like gone back and forth with this but it's a huge waste of time because he just after he did that I still had the pump and then he was hungry again so I had a bottle feed him so that was like an hour this morning and I was almost late to work luckily I was not um, because I had a meeting to set up for uh, first thing so um, I think I'm just going to pump in the morning and feed him a bottle and that's why he's going to go because he's just not um, doing a great job at it anymore, which is fine. I actually um, really stuck to my schedule today of pumping every two hours. I mean here and there depending on what's going on I can't exactly get away right at two hours, but for the most part I kept to it and um, I got a lot today so that's good. <sighs> I'm so tired. So I'm waiting for the dryer to finish. I have to fold clothes. Um, I'm going to do bottles in the morning. Um, I think I'm good. So um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow when it is TGIF. Hey everybody, happy Friday! It's Friday Fun with Kiki's. Where's it smile? He is definitely gaining weight, you guys. Like, he is so heavy and he looks Daddy. chubbier. I feel like it's not coming across in camera, but like his little cheeks are just fatter, his little thighs are thicker. That's why you go with your baby, huh? But he's definitely gaining weight, definitely, definitely, definitely. So I'm happy about that. So we are done with work. I had to work extra, but even extra. Ran into a bit of an issue at the end of the day, so I ended up staying even later. But. Stupid orientation. Orientation on Monday. It's always orientation that causes me problems. Oh no! Oh no!